everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers. This is the first time I've done a Space Engineers video in a long time and as you can quite clearly tell I am continuing my tradition of making derpy as hell looking ships. But anyway this one's actually pretty cool on the inside so I am going to cut here and go inside. Right, so we are inside. Now, normally I start my tours from the airlock, but I have an interesting airlock design in this one. So I'm going to start where every crew member's day will start, which is the um, the crew quarters. I am lying in bed, and did you know that when you fall asleep, your head apparently sees things? <laughs> anyway, moving on. So I'll get out of bed. Right. So this is the quarters. Um, we are equipped with four beds in this ship, which means in three shifts we can have a maximum crew capacity of 12 people. Um, this is supposed to be a very small ship, so anyway. Uh, we're looking at uh, the windows here, and of course if it is too light for you, uh, you can... Which one is it? This one? Yes! We can have shutters to come and close the blinds. If I had more room, I would have added another light switch that would switch off this light. Uh, but anyway, this will have to do. So we have the shutters to do that, and we can go in here. And this is the John. And we have our shower. Great. Um, again, I kind of ran out of room a bit here, so th this kind of... I'm, I make pretending that that kind of functions as a facility for washing your hands. So, um, we go through here, and apparently there's no air in here. That's curious. Anyway, um, so this is the mess and recreation area. Um, as you can see, we have our wonderfully equipped kitchen, uh, where we have bridges, ovens, sinks, and vending machines for when you're too lazy to cook. Um, and we have dining and entertainment. So this isn't a particularly big ship, so it doesn't have like massive cinema plexes or anything, but it'll do. So uh, let us do that. Um, okay. So this is my first time trying one of this. Uh, what you are seeing, what this is, uh, this is the Sectan interior corridors, which I freaking love. So anyway, uh, it's time for an elevator ride. I, yes, I have the elevator, so we'll close that over and we will go up. There's only two floors in this ship. And this takes us to the bridge deck. So. We open up and we can quite clearly see the bridge. So generally speaking, I, I don't have like a... Uh, normally when I make my ships I kind of have a manned engineering station. Um, I don't actually have that. Um, all of the crew are generally holed up in the forward section of the ship and the rear section is usually kept uh, in isolation unless some maintenance is required. So what we've got here, pilot station, co-pilot station, three auxiliary stations should they be needed and this is uh, the main engineering station where we can control all of the facilities on the ship and I'll show you the various facilities later. Um, this is the captain's ready room where we have uh, sit on this, yeah. So we can look out onto the bridge and we can look out into space. Perfect for any captain. So, what do I want to show you now? Uh, let's go... We will show you the interior maintenance. We'll use the lift to go back down to deck two. We are now going to go in here. So this is access to maintenance, as you can tell by the fact that it looks pretty trippy. Uh, this is our Jeffrey tubes. Uh, this is emergency elevator control. We can send it up or down. As you can see, this is actually the elevator shaft. That's the engineer. That, that, that's the elevator right next to us. So I can fire that up, as we can see. So anyway, let's disregard that. Um, 
Oh, I've got lost in my own ship. Um, what we need to do... Uh, there isn't actually the ability to climb ladders in this game. This is this is the ship's cargo facilities. Um, oh, I can't close this for some reason. Anyway, uh, yes, this is the ship's cargo facilities. There are one, two, three. There are eight, um, seven of these in total, and this makes up the entirety of the ship's storage, uh, which is more than adequate. And this is connected to um, all other areas of the ship. Uh, there's another entrance here. This basically takes us to uh, the bridge deck where we were um, and we can go back down to the middle deck of the elevator shaft. Uh, this was originally... I've kind of modified the layout. This this little shortcut never used to be here but then in retrospect I decided it kind of kind of smarter. Um, so in theory if the elevator were to go kaput um, this can function as emergency access between the levels, uh, which is pretty nifty, so I will retire that elevator. Oh, it didn't work. Did I press the wrong button? <laughs> yes, I did. Right, okay, anyway. So yes, that is the access to the maintenance areas, so we'll now go down here, which is the uh, suit room, and apparently Oxygen isn't free flowing in the ship, <laughs> um, so that's that's actually our little air vent. Uh, this is the suit room which I'm using as kind of airlock. You can actually use it to change the color. Let's give ourselves a nice bright pink. Yeah, um, and yeah, this this kind of functions as the medical room as well, which means if we were to die, we can respawn here. And this, as you might guess, uh, is the airlock. Now, here's where my design gets interesting. So you can see if I crouch down, we're looking out now at the ship. Now, if I open the outer airlock door, we can see quite clearly that this is not, in fact, an airlock. This just takes me back to the other end of the ship. However, if I do this, we open up. And now this is where, this is the main way in and out of the ship. So this little nifty corridor, it has dual use. Um, it is both the airlock and the passage between the engineering section of the ship and the forward section of the ship. And um, what we have here, the reason why it's in the middle is um, one, so you can get in and out. And two, um, this is actually the docking ports. We have two docking ports which can be extended um, so that the ships can dock well clear of the um, main framework of the uh, the spaceship. Uh, and even though they have to fly, so there's no walkways or anything, um, you, we can... It, it, it's only a short little flight to get to the... Um, to get back into the ship. So we're going to fire out... Oops, press it twice. So we're going to fire at the walkway, sprint down this, it is a very long corridor. So long in fact that my framework has collapsed. And we are now in the engineering side of sh the ship, so you can quite clearly see a change of tone already. That <laughs> all the lights and pipes everywhere, that this is not somewhere that's supposed to be uh, inhabited continuously. So we go through here, we can see the reactor at end. This is the reactor room. Um, and we have our gyroscopes. There is air here, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, oxygen tank, oxygen tank, oxygen generation, which we can use to generate uh, ice from the stores should the need require it. Uh, coming through here, uh, this is the ship's batteries. So we have uh, gravity generation and one, two, three, four, seven. <laughs> seven batteries in total which can power the ship in the event of an emergency. Um, so we have the seven batteries, we do have solar panels, and we do have the nuclear reactor, should we need it. So yes, uh, we've seen the airlock, we've seen the... Um, in fact, actually, let's, let's, let's use this one. We'll not use it proper, but like, 
you, we can quite clearly see that this is a hatch. Uh, this ship is equipped with emergency escapes at various points. Uh, I only included one here because this section is, is so short and kind of straight that I decided it was relatively easy to find an emergency exit uh, if you so required one. Uh, however, there is two on the bridge deck. This is the emergency exit from uh, the suit room, and there's uh, there's an emergency escape in the bridge. There's an emergency escape in the cargo room. Uh, this here is an emergency escape, and finally we have another emergency escape here in the crew quarters, so we can get out of here in a hurry. So, speaking of getting out of here in a hurry, let's get my suit on, and the button is on the roof here, so we just press this, there's going to be a loud push. Okay, apparently not, and we can literally just walk out, and we've ejected from the ship. So the gravity generator, uh, once we're out of clear of the gravity generator, uh, the um, jetpack kicks on and we can see that by one button press it, it's emergency escape for the entire ship. So one button press will open up all of the emergency exits, which we can see here this is the one that we came from, um, this is the one inside the corridor, if I flip around to the other side, I can't be able to go back the other way, I assume you trust me that that one's open, uh, you can see that the bridge escape, that's the bridge, and the main cor uh, sorry, the maintenance uh, corridor escape, they're all open. Now if I press the button again, it doesn't close. This is purely for emergency use only. If you do happen to have a sc royally screwed the pooch <laughs> and press the emergency button when you didn't mean to, you will need to use the emergency ship entry, which is located at the back of the ship. These are the Anubis thrusters. Um, so this is... Uh, I said I wasn't going to go back here, but uh, I kind of forget I needed to... So this is main engineering, as we saw. And I can't remember what these do. So we'll do uh, that's open. Yes, okay. So this opens the airlock if we need it. This opens all the emergency escapes and this closes them. So this is your way of really resetting the ship. And uh, yeah, I mean, what I also could have done here, I could have added a um, shutter here with another hidden button somewhere so you've got a thing. I might do that in the future. But. Um, Yes, this is how to get... It's kind of your uh, your locking mechanism for the ship. So now I can get back in by clicking there and doing that. Oops, no, press it twice again. And now the ship is all secure. So yes, uh, that is a tour of my little ship, uh, the first one I have made in quite a long time and as per usual I have used a lot of mods for it. Um, I use the Sectan mod, I use all of Sectan's mod, I actually really like his stuff. Um, I use... Um, I, can, I can never pronounce it. Oh. I can't pronounce it. Uh, there's another guy's work, I basically use all of his stuff, and then I have a mishmash of other things, such as the command console packs, and so on and so forth. But yes, uh, this is a tour of my, the first ship I have managed to made, make in Space Engineers in quite a while. Um, I'm not all that proud of the exterior, I have a bad habit of making like seriously derpy ships, but uh, the interior, uh, I, I really quite like the look of it with these uh, these corridor packs and like the ventilation things, you can make nice Jeffrey's tubes to get you around if the need requires them. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy with this. So anyway, that's my little tour of my latest ship in Space Engineers. So, thank you very much for watching this, and hopefully I'll get around to making some more of these soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!